Hey, hello, I'm Daniel Gordillo, and uh, this time I'm, I want to share with you uh, a little test I'm doing with uh, the release candidate for Blender 2.74. So I want to, to test uh, some uh, new, new features. The first one is uh, the amb ambient occlusion in the viewport. You can see I'm, uh, I'm I just uh, testing it out in a in a, a model of my own. Uh, it's a well, it's not my own rebel really. It's a make human head. So the other the, the other thing I want to test is the. Uh, um, what's, what's the name of this? It's a... Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> yes, the depth of field. So you see, I I have uh, created uh, this kind of this is a scene with uh, the head and behind that head. There's uh, some cubes to test the that depth of field. So there's nothing. There's nothing going on. We uh, maybe we have to. Ah, there you go. There you go. We have to change the number, the value in the uh, f-stop field. There. We put a lower number there, and we can see now the there's depth of field. Well, let's uh, try another thing. Um, uh, the other thing I want to to test is the new uh, cavity mask in paint mode. Let's uh, just um, wash the head, the <laughs> face of this fella. Let's uh, look for it. Let's try to paint. I don't see anything uh, going on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, there's something there. Yeah, it's not too. No, the effect is not too well. It's it's, it's uh, working, but not maybe if, if we tweak the curve. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Now it's working. Right now it's really working. Yes. I wonder if there is some kind of uh, invert option, so we can just uh, paint on the cavities instead of the peaks. But uh, it's uh, it's working really. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, I like it. Oh yeah, yeah, I like it. Have to to do some more tests, but. Uh, what I'm seeing now, I, I I quite like it. Yeah, yeah. So this is supposed to to analyze the surface of our model and just paint in um, in the areas not. Uh, leaving the cavities uh, untouched. That's really nice. That's really nice. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I want to... let's let's put some deform... some... yeah, this displays deform. What? Uh, oh. What the hell? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I have to I have to change the, the texture type. Uh, yes, let's let's put some mask grip or something. Yeah, it's uh, a little smaller. Less value. Okay, let's test it. Yes, yes, it works. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that a lot. So it's, 
it's painting only on the pigs and it's leaving all cavities without paint. Oh, this is really nice. I disable this. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. The next feature is something like uh, just like with uh, did in the paint. Uh, see, uh, in, in the paint mode. But it's a it's a node. It's a new feature in a in a in the geometry node. Let's find it geometry right. So the new feature is called pointiness. Let's uh, let's see how how this works. We need a, a color ramp. So we connect it to the color input. Nothing really, it's nothing, nothing is, it's doing nothing. Okay, that's it, that's it. I have to move the colors a bit. Okay, no, now this is a, this is also a really useful feature. Yeah. Well. Well, I'm really excited about this release. <laughs> Look at that. It's really fast. It's really fast. This, uh, this node is... Uh... Before this, I, I always... Uh, I ended up uh, using the, uh, the dirty vertex option in, in vertex uh, paint. But this is... Uh, this is quite fast. It's a lot faster. Okay, so that means it's a it's a goodbye to the vertex, uh, dirty vertex colors. Okay, well, well, really cool features. Um, so goodbye. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya.